This is Sam Kennedy with VCU Technology Services, and we're at the 2012 Tech Fair on the MCV campus, and we're having a little talk with Atomic Learning, and you're from Atomic Learning, and who are you? Great, thanks Sam. My name's Deb Meester. I'm with Atomic Learning, and we are so excited to be here on the campus of VCU. Well, we're very excited to have you. I'm very excited. Their product is great. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the product? What is Atomic Learning? How'd you get started? You know, and, and what you're going to do for VCU? Great. Well, thank you, Sam. Um, Atomic Learning was actually founded in the year 2000 by a group of technology educators in central Minnesota. Thus, the reason you're hearing the Minnesota accent here today. But I do love that accent. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, these educators saw a need for this type of resource. What it is is it's a just-in-time training resource. So if you're looking for that quick and easy answer on a specific task within an application, whether you need to know how to use AutoSum in Excel or save your document as a PDF, you can go to Atomic Learning and find that quick and easy training. Um, you can also find help with many technology concepts. So if you're needing to know, you're an instructor and you need to know how to use social media in your course. There's training on that. If you're a student and you need help with MLA or APA style writing, there's help with that. If you need help with Blackboard, with Gmail, with anything, there's help for that right here on campus. You can access it from home. You can access it from your mobile devices. You can access it from campus, wherever you'd like, as long as you have a computing device and internet access. And it, it plays on Windows, Mac, uh, iOS, uh, Android, everything plays pretty, pretty much on all platforms, right? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. And all these are like 60, 70 minute classes, right? Um, no. <laughs> no. In fact, as a, a piece... You're welcome for that. <laughs> as a piece of trivia information, the reason why Atomic Learning is called Atomic Learning is we take training on a particular topic. In this case, it might be Excel, Blackboard, Photoshop, and we break it down into small little apps of learning. That way if you're looking for that quick and easy answer on a particular question within an application, you don't have to watch the full three hour long movie on Excel to find out how to use AutoSum. You can find that in one to three minutes. We're really excited to, to fold it in with our Learn It program, our training resources that are already here on the campus. One of the things I was really excited about is the links, the way that you can send somebody an email uh, on a subject, on one of those subjects, and instead of them saying you have to go here and do this, it just takes them right straight into the system to do it, right? That's correct. We realize that any resource, no matter how good it is, if it's not easy to access, it's not going to be used. So what we've done is we've provided a resource called the Direct Linking, which allows your instructors to pull some of the training over into their course LMS. So whether you're using Blackboard or any other um, LMS system, you're able to pull it over into your course page. Help Desk can pull it over and put it into their um, tech newsletter or into a blog or a wiki. So your faculty, staff, and students don't actually even have to go out to Atomic Learning to view the training. You can bring it to them. Like I said, that was one of the things I was really excited about. Because sometimes people get overwhelmed by having to go look. They don't even know what terms to put in to look for it. Exactly. So it's so much nicer if you can just go ahead and go, this is what you need, just click on that. Right, and you may have some students out there that are, aren't tech savvy and so they're scared to go out and find it on their own. So you can bring it to them so they can get the help when they need it. That's great. Now you've been here for two days. How's everything been going? What have y'all been doing? Oh, this has been great. You know, we just love the state of Virginia and the city of Richmond. It's Everyone here is so friendly. The campus is beautiful. And we're just receiving a wonderful reception from all faculty, staff, and students here at VCU. Everyone seems very excited to use this resource. So we're so excited and happy to be here. I heard y'all had a standing room only, some sessions for that so far with our stuff at Tech Fair. But you've also been out in some of the schools, right? doing some training. That's correct, that's correct. We've been at, um, uh, this morning I did a training session at the School of Social Work with some of the finan uh, financial administrators. That was very well received. We've been on both campuses, the Monroe campus, the medical campus, everywhere we go. It's standing room only. People are, are just lining up at our booth and it's so exciting to see. Okay, well great. Is there anything else you want to tell the VC community before we sign off? Just that we are so thrilled to be here and so thrilled that you have chosen to use Atomic Learning. We really think that your faculty, staff, and students are going to love this resource. And if ever you need any kind of help, please don't hesitate. We're here to assist you on this. So. That's great. We appreciate you guys being here. Great. Again, this is Sam Kennedy from the VCU Tech Fair on the MCV campus. Have a good day.